Folks, since the start of 2025, quantum computing has become one of the most talked about sectors in the stock market. And for good reason. Quantum technology has the power to solve problems that today's computers just can't handle, from creating new medicines to protecting data, improving financial systems, and even finding answers to climate challenges. It's one of those rare shifts that could change everything. But here's what most people get wrong. When investors think of quantum, they usually run toward the big names like Google or IBM. And while those giants are important, the real opportunity often lies in smaller companies that are quietly building the tools and technology that will make quantum computing possible. These are the kinds of businesses that don't get all the attention but could see the biggest growth. And that's exactly what I'm going to share with you today. In this video, I'll tell you about three quantum computing stocks that Wall Street believes could explode in 2025. These aren't the usual suspects. They're under-the-radar players that could surprise a lot of people. So, if you're serious about investing and want to position yourself early in companies that are revolutionizing the future, make sure to watch this video till the end. And if you are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update on the hottest stocks in the market. Let's aim for 200 likes on this video so more people can reach and benefit from this info. And remember folks, this video is for educational purposes only. I am not a financial advisor and this is not a financial advice. So make sure to do your own research before making any investment decisions. Now let's dive in. The first quantum stock on our list is Indava PLC, trading under the ticker symbol DAVA on the New York Stock Exchange. At first glance, Indaba may not look like a quantum computing play, especially since it's headquartered in London and widely recognized as an IT services provider. But when you peel back the layers, you'll quickly realize why Wall Street analysts are increasingly tying Indaba's strengths and capabilities to the inevitable adoption of quantum systems. The company specializes in digital transformation, advanced software engineering, and managed IT services, offering solutions that help major corporations across banking, healthcare, retail, and technology sectors upgrade and modernize their infrastructure. In short, Endava is not building quantum computers, but it is building the bridges that will allow large enterprises to actually use them in the real world, and that is where the value is going to emerge for investors. The current stock price of Endava sits at just around $10.18, a level that may make it look like a simple small-cap IT services provider to the untrained eye. But this is where context matters. Endava's global footprint allows it to work with large multinational clients who will inevitably require integration of quantum technology into their workflows in the future. Banks will need help running risk models that are too complex for today's supercomputers. Hospitals will eventually use quantum-assisted data to run drug discovery simulations and patient analytics. Retailers will need better supply chain optimization tools that quantum could provide. These are all areas where Endava is already entrenched with clients, meaning it has the relationships in place to capture this next wave of technological change. Recent financial performance reflects both the challenges in IT services today and the resilience of Endava's model. In the fourth quarter of fiscal year 2025, the company reported revenue of £186.8 million, a 3.9% year-over-year decrease and a 0.7% decrease at constant currency. That's not ideal at the top-line level, but the story underneath is more encouraging. Diluted earnings per share improved to 2 pence, compared to a loss of 3 pence in the same quarter the previous year. Adjusted diluted EPS also grew to 24 pounds, up from 22 pounds. That means that even though revenue was under pressure, Endava's ability to manage costs, optimize its contracts, and deliver higher value services allowed it to increase profitability. For the full fiscal year 2025, Endava delivered £772.3 million in revenue, which represented a 4.3% increase year-over-year year and a 6.3% increase at constant currency. Diluted EPS for the year improved to 36 pence compared to 29 pence the prior year, and adjusted diluted EPS came in at £1.13 pence compared to £1.12. These numbers show that Endava is not only maintaining profitability, but also slightly improving its earnings, despite a sluggish IT services environment. Wall Street analysts remain cautious but constructive on Endava. On August 20, 2025, JP Morgan cut its price target from $18 to $17 and maintained a neutral rating, citing three consecutive years of below-average sales growth across the IT services sector. Essentially, analysts want to see more growth in order to justify a higher multiple. However, the firm also emphasized optimism about the company's long-term potential, especially once sector growth returns. Similarly, on August 4, 2025, Morgan Stanley's James Fawcett reaffirmed his hold rating with a $17 target. This consistent but cautious outlook suggests that Indava is not being written off. Instead, it is seen as a stock worth watching for when growth accelerates again. 
and with upside potential of 26.67% from its current $10.18 level, it represents a compelling value play for investors who believe in its role as a quantum integration partner for global industries. The second quantum stock on our list is Vico Instruments Incorporated, trading under the ticker symbol VECO on the NASDAQ. Vico is a company that provides the picks and shovels for the next wave of technology innovation. It designs and manufactures semiconductor and thin film processing equipment used in a wide range of applications, from logic and memory chips to photonics, power electronics, and hard disk drive components. This is important because while Vico is not directly producing quantum computers, its specialized tools and technologies are essential to the chip manufacturing processes that make quantum and advanced AI systems possible. Every revolution in computing depends on breakthroughs in semiconductor tools, and Vico is one of those companies enabling that transformation behind the scenes. At a current stock price of $24.51, Vico is not a penny stock but still sits at an attractive mid-cap valuation. For investors who understand the semiconductor supply chain, Vico represents an underappreciated player in one of the most important markets of our time. Analysts are paying attention. On August 13, 2025, benchmark comer analyst Mark Miller reaffirmed his buy rating with a $28 price target, describing Vico as an attractive opportunity within the broader hardware boom. Miller highlighted several important growth drivers. First, there's substantial demand for nearline hard drives, which is boosting orders for Vico's ion beam tools. Second, the company has strong momentum in wet processing driven by artificial intelligence, high bandwidth memory, and mobile applications. Third, there's a predicted doubling of advanced packaging and gate all-around sales by 2025, which directly benefits Vico's product portfolio. Add to that five client qualifications currently underway with strong follow-on potential and a new DRAM customer being pursued for its laser annual tools, and the growth runway looks quite promising. Financial performance backs up this story. In its most recent quarter, Vico reported revenue of $166 million, down 6% year-over-year. That decline may appear concerning at first, but profitability metrics paint a better picture. Earnings per share came in at 36 cents, exceeding expectations, and gross margin was 43%, which surpassed guidance. Non-gay app operating income was $23 million, and the company reported $355 million in cash and short-term investments. That level of liquidity gives Vico flexibility to continue investing in research and development, pursue new client wins, and withstand cyclical downturns in the semiconductor market. With 23 hedge funds currently holding Vico stock, institutional investors are clearly taking note of this opportunity. Analysts see an upside potential of around 12.5%, with a price target of $28 compared to its current $24.51. The way to think about Vico is simple. During every technological revolution, there are companies that sell the tools required to build the future. In the quantum and AI era, Vico is one of those critical toolmakers. It doesn't have to out-innovate Google or IBM in quantum research. It just has to sell the equipment that allows chipmakers to do their jobs. That strategy provides resilience, recurring demand, and long-term exposure to multiple secular growth trends. For investors looking for a safer way to play the quantum supply chain, Vico is one of the most compelling picks available today. The third and final stock on our list is Form Factor, trading under the ticker symbol FORM on the NASDAQ. Form Factor is a company that often gets overlooked, but it plays one of the most essential roles in the semiconductor ecosystem, testing and validation. The company develops and manufactures probe cards, cryogenic systems, and thermal subsystems that are used by chipmakers and researchers worldwide. These tools are crucial for testing advanced chips, ensuring reliability, and confirming performance before products move into mass production. In the quantum computing context, where devices are operating at cryogenic temperatures and require extreme precision, Form Factor's technologies are particularly important. Without companies like Form Factor, it would be nearly impossible for chipmakers to guarantee that their products will perform in real-world conditions. Currently, Form Factor's stock trades at $29.36, and analysts project upside potential of around 19.6%. This makes it a mid-cap player with meaningful room to grow, particularly if demand for advanced testing solutions accelerates in parallel with the expansion of quantum and AI markets. Analysts have been mixed in their recent outlook. On August 21, 2025, Citi downgraded the stock from buy to neutral, lowering its price target from $36 to $31. Analyst Elizabeth Sun noted that while advanced packaging demand is strong, weakness in smartphones and PCs has weighed on performance, creating uneven results outside of AI-driven applications. Earlier in August, Stifel Nicholas reaffirmed its hold rating with a $31 target, pointing to modest potential in the near term. Despite these cautious views, Form Factor's financial results are telling a different story. In its most recent quarter, revenue came in at $195.8 million, slightly above the high end of expectations. 
That represented a 14.3% sequential increase and only a 0.8% decline year over year. Non-GAAP gross margin was 38.5% and non-GAAP EPS was $0.27, just above the low end of guidance. Segment results showed strong momentum where it matters most. Probe card revenue grew 18.7% sequentially, Foundry and Logic revenue rose 16.7%, DRAM revenue increased 16.8%, and high bandwidth memory revenue surged to $37 million, up $7.4 million from the previous quarter. These trends show that while PCs and smartphones are struggling, the areas tied to AI and advanced computing, which overlap with quantum opportunities, are driving significant growth. Form factors profitability and balance sheet position are also important to note. Gap operating income rose to $12.3 million compared to $3.3 million in the prior quarter while non-GAAP operating income increased to $22.8 million, up 35.2%. GAAP net income was $9.1 million, or $0.12 cents per share, while non-GAAP net income reached $21.2 million, or $0.27 per share. The company did report negative free cash flow of $47.1 million, primarily due to capital expenditures of $66.3 million, which were significantly higher than the previous quarter's $18.6 million. While that may seem like a red flag, it actually signals that Form Factor is investing heavily in capacity and infrastructure to support future growth. With $253 million in cash and investments on hand, plus a new $150 million revolving credit facility, the company has the resources to manage this expansion. For the next quarter, management expects revenue of around $200 million, gross margin of 40%, and EPS of $0.25, cents, give or take a few cents. That outlook suggests stability and continued profitability in a challenging market. To wrap things up, these three companies represent very different but equally important angles on the quantum computing opportunity. At their current stock prices, under $30 each offers attractive upside potential, according to Wall Street analysts. For investors looking beyond the headlines and into the real building blocks of the quantum future, these stocks could be some of the best opportunities of 2025. If you enjoyed this breakdown and want more deep dives into stocks that could explode in the coming years, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos.